of home-based restaurateurs are celebrating the expansion of a program that will help them grow their businesses. Really interesting concept. Fox 5's Misha DeBono is live along the Embarcadero with their story and more on the Home Kitchen Program. Misha. Yeah, hi Kathleen, hi Andrew. The program's called Micro Enterprise Home Kitchen Operators and it's turning people with a passion for food, for cooking, into entrepreneurs and restaurateurs. We're really proud of what we've been able to accomplish. This group of activists and entrepreneurs, home cooking chefs, are celebrating the passage of California Bill AB 1325, which will dramatically increase their ability to make a living selling food prepared in their home kitchens. Home kitchen operators were previously limited to 60 meals per week, and now they can do 90 meals per week. And then it was $50,000 in gross annual sales, and now that's been up to $100,000 in gross annual sales. Roya Bagheri is executive director of Cook Alliance, a nonprofit that works to support and legalize home based businesses. She says before, the cap on income forced many home based chefs to shut down after only a few months. So now this gives them a little bit more opportunity to expand and grow their business, grow their clientele. The program, called Micro Enterprise Home Kitchen Operation, or MAKO, was born out of necessity during the pandemic when many chefs were operating illegally, or rather, without a permit or license. Well, let's say you want to have an Italian dinner. I turned my whole backyard into Italy. Erlene LaCour started cooking for neighbors during the pandemic for free, but as her clientele grew, she realized this was a viable business opportunity and needed a license and permit. That's how she found Mako. Permits are run through the Department of Quality Health and will run you about $642. Before it was, you could only have like say 10 people in your home restaurant and dining in, um, where now I can have up to 25 or whatever my capacity and the fire department says. Governor Newsom signed the bill expanding the program in July. Right now it's nearing the end of a two year trial and the hope is it will become permanent. Some people are doing cooking classes, some people are doing outside in their backyard, these pop-up events with local artists, local you know, musicians as well. And so the governor signed this expansion bill to the program in July. Lots of folks saying that that signals that it will become permanent by the end of this year. From along the Embarcadero, Misha Bono. Fox 5 News. All right, opening a lot of doors, opportunities, and potentially tables for mm -hmm. San Diegans as well. Thank you so much, Misha.